I will buy them like I did this. I bought it myself, so it's a 100% honest review. Yo, what's going on guys? So I've got another interesting video for you guys today. Another um, cheap product review to see if it's actually worth the money. And today we're going to be checking out the cheapest official gaming mouse there is in South Africa. It is called the RCTCT112-1, uh, really rolls off the tongue, I mean. So I'm going to be checking out this mouse. What I want you guys to do uh, in the comments below, guess how much I paid for this mouse. But now keeping in mind that it has all of these features. I mean it has a copper nylon braided cable, it has a 3200 dpi with dpi switching, it has low friction mouse feet, it's got side mouse buttons, if you can focus, so it does have side mouse buttons, braided cable, dpi switch, so it is technically the cheapest actual gaming mouse because for me it's not a real gaming mouse unless it doesn't have side buttons. Okay, so quickly reading through the specs on the back of the box, it says uh, user selected DPI resolution, so it's got DPI increments. Um, ultra precise optical sensor delivers superior performance. So it's got a superior ultra precise optical sensor. Uh, ergonomic design. Now this is an interesting, on the back of the box it says 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection, uh, effective up to 8 meters. Mine has a cable on it, so... Okay. Copper nylon braided cable reduces signal interference. Is this a wireless mouse? No, there's no way. It has a cable on it. Precise and silent mechanism. USB plug and play, compatible with Windows. Specifications. Uh, six button design. Uh, built in with user selectable DPI. They're really selling the selectable DPI here. It's on everything. Um, it weighs 138 grams for you um, ultra light mouse guys. Got nothing on this. I mean, 63 grams for what? Um, power rating 5 volt, USB interface, and a 1.5 meter long cable. So, is it wireless or not? We shall find out. All right, here we go. I'm going in, boys. What's happening? Oh, I've had this box for like three months. I was oh, six months. I don't even know how long I've had this. I just haven't had time to do the review. I actually feel bad for doing this now. Oh, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm just gonna cut it open. I'm sending it. Oh, I don't wanna cut the cable. Oh, where would the cable be? Oh no. What's the best way to do this? Screw it, I'm just going for it. If I cut the cable, I cut the cable. Uh. Okay, I didn't cut the cable. Alright, I'm in ladies and gentlemen. I'm in. Okay, let's just cut everything open. This is very... I don't know when last I had to cut something open to... Especially a, I mean like a PC peripherals. Everything comes in boxes and... Oh! There she is. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, no, stop. Focus on the mouse, not me. I mean, is that gonna be RGB? It's see through. Focus. It's see through. Is there RGB? No. There's no ways. I'm still trying to get it out of the box. All right, I got it out the box. There's literally nothing else in here. Yeah, nothing. Okay, cool. So, there she is, ladies and gentlemen. The cheapest official gaming mouse you can get in South Africa. I mean, it doesn't feel bad at all. It actually, I mean, it doesn't feel bad. Let's uh, let's plug it in and see what happens, shall we? All right. So, excuse the dirty mouse pad, but uh, on my desk I have my two daily drivers, my Kuga Minos XT and my X5 uh, gaming mouse that I play with. Love this mouse to death. Streaming PC mouse. 
Kiri TKL keyboard, uh, X5, la, 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 700k Evo from Kuga, so everything Kuga on the desk. But here's the mouse, I have not plugged it in. Is It, it is indeed a braided cable. It is braided and it is 1.5 meters long. So let's, I'm going to plug it in right now. Does it have RGB? Does it blow up my computer? These are the questions we need to know. Oh, oh, wait, oh, it's flashing. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, it works. It's working. No ways. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. I mean, it's working. Not bad, not bad. It's, it's, it's huge. This mouse is so big. It's so big compared to what I'm used to. <laughs> oh, boys. This, this isn't bad. Oh, okay. All right, all right. RCT, I see you. We see you. So I'm firing up some CSGO quickly because I just want to go, uh, CSGO is a game I take very seriously when it comes to precise mouse aim and um, I'm quite um, picky when it comes to mouses. That, so I want to go from my Mino 6 5 which has one of the fastest sensors in the world, it's a PWM3360 sensor I believe, clocked at 2000 Hz. So one of the fastest gaming sensors in the world with adjustable lift off distance. It's been completely tailored to me, customized everything. Um, so I'm gonna hop in, see how I do with aim, warm up, and then hop straight back onto the RCT. This 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 guy, this guy right there, the RCT. Uh, The, R the RCT CT12-1, that one, yes, I'm gonna try that one. All right, so we're just hopping some aim bots here quickly. I'm gonna just warm up, get, get a feel for farming. I'm gonna, I'm swapping, I'm swapping, putting it aside, it's over there, you guys can see it. Picking up the RCT mouse, or, I don't know why I was doing that. I mean, oh, 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 okay. What? That's, that's very weird. Okay, let me show you, let me show you what's happening. Okay, so a test I like to do is do this and see if the mouse skips. But now, so my minus, XT, sorry, my Minus X5 is not skipping at all and it's staying level when I, let me just move the camera back. Okay, so hopefully the camera picks this up. When, when I'm doing, when I'm doing this, there's no skipping or anything and the mouse is staying level, right? Which it should do. And I can keep doing this and it's going to do the same thing the whole day. As soon as I use this mouse and, and I do the same thing, it go, it, it aims down. Like I'm not moving, I'm not moving my arm. I'll hold, can I, can you see if I'm holding my arm? It's been, it's been a while, it's been a while. Okay, so I'm gonna hold my arm in place so you guys can see what it's doing. It's not, and then compared to this holding my arm in place, I mean, so that's staying where it's supposed to stay. As soon as I swap to this mouse, holding my arm in place and I'm not moving my arm, all of a sudden, it just starts looking at the floor and going down and down and down. Now look where I'm aiming. Why am I aiming at the floor? I haven't moved my arm. It's supposed to be up there. 
Look what it's doing. Why is it doing that? I mean, if you do small aim, it's not skipping, which is a good thing compared to other very cheap masters. This one isn't skipping, but I don't understand the the fact that it, it goes down. It just keeps going down. Why is it doing that? That doesn't make sense. Like I'm not moving my arm, I'm staying in the same place. But like just, so I, I, I don't notice that while playing. I don't notice that at all. I mean, okay, it does, it, okay, it's skipping, it's skipping. Yeah, it's skipping. It's skipping a lot. It doesn't skip. Okay. This one does very weird stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's try this one as fast as we can. See what it does. Doesn't skip, stays in the same place. No problem, still still aiming at the same place, okay? This one, try and go as fast as you can, um, and I'm looking at the floor. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, it, it is definitely skipping, as you guys can see, it is definitely skipping. Um, so that's just the sign of a cheap sensor, it obviously is not a, a, a gaming sensor. Uh, a, nowhere near a gaming sensor, as soon as it starts doing stuff like this, it's, it's pretty over. But what's annoying me is when you're playing with it, it, it's precise. It is precise enough where I can definitely get my, uh, my headshots in. It's lift off distance is a bit high for my liking, but I could definitely play a game with this. I don't mind at all. But where this is going to become an issue with this, the skipping is cranking 90s in Fortnite. And I think that's what we're going to have to go check is definitely cranking 90s in Fortnite. So let's go do that. So I'm gonna load into some creator right now. Again, I'm gonna start off on my X5, the mouse I daily use the past two years now. Warm up, get a feel for it, and then swap over to the RCT CT12- Is that right? Yes, I got it right. Okay, so we loaded in. Um, Okay, time to crank. I just wanna crank 90 bro. I just wanna crank 90 bro. So, not too bad for warm up. Okay, obviously, no issues there with my X5. That's why I use it. Let's try the RCT. Oh, okay, hold on. These side buttons are, but very. Whoa, wait, whoa. Wait, what? What's going on? What's going on? Why is it doing that? Okay, that's so... Uh, ramp is how I have it and war, so it's ramp and war and then for some reason... Why is it doing that? I'm not, I'm not even doing that! Whoa. Okay, um... That, that is not me. That's not me doing that. Why is it doing that? That... I'm so confused. I can't crank... I... I... like... Look! Okay, let me, let me, let me show you what guys what's going on right now, okay? So, if I'm... Okay. I want you guys to see this, right? 
Let me, let me, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in so you guys can see what's happening. On my X5, when I'm holding in click, okay, so I'm holding in click, I can swap between the builds while still turbo building. So you guys can see there, the, the builds are swapping and I've got, and I'm holding in click and the, and the builds are swapping. With this mouse, when I'm holding in click, I can't swap. I can't swap. I can't, so it swaps, there it's swapping. Let me zoom in more. Okay, and focus. So it's swapping like it's supposed to be. When I'm holding in click, look. It, it doesn't swap. There's no ways. I'm, I'm too used to holding in click and having it be able to swap while turbo building. That's why you can like crank 90s so quick. Because all you do is you just hold in turbo build and then you just flick between the two buttons and no problem. Like I don't let go of the click. I don't let go of click when I'm building. So that's that's very weird because when when I'm doing 90s, I don't let go of the click. So I'll just keep in click, like click, and then I just flick between the two buttons when I'm building. And that's how it's so easy to do 90s like that. I don't have to let go of the placement button so it places straight away but now with this one I can't do that I have to click swap click swap click swap I, it's in part there's no ways there's, there's no ways these side buttons are useless Let me know if your side buttons on your mouse do that as well, that if you hold and click, can you swap between your builds? Because I can't swap between my builds. That's, that, this is terrible. I have to keep clicking and then keep swapping between my builds. And yeah, that, that's a no-go. There's no ways. With a little bit of practice, I'll eventually get it right, but I, it looks like I literally just downloaded the game. I mean, this is... There's no ways. Scroll wheels. I use scroll wheel interact. Scroll wheel feels fine. The scroll wheel reset. Oh, let's stay in a box. Oh, no, no complaints with the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel's fine. The scroll wheel feels good, it feels accurate. Um, but yeah, these, these side buttons are horrendous. No, not a chance. Not a chance! And it's still doing, look, even in this game it does the same thing. Look, you start off looking there and then you're looking at the floor. And my hand has not moved. Look, I'm holding my arm in place. And then it'll come down, come down, come down, come down, and I'm looking at the floor. Okay, so... It's, it's a good mouse for... Uh, it's, it's not a gaming mouse by... I mean, it has the side buttons, but the fact that you can't swap between the side buttons when you need to, that's nice. Otherwise, it, does, it feels good. It feels like it's a good mouse, but this is probably one of the worst mouses I've ever used. It skips. It skips, but, but then again, it's the cheapest gaming mouse on the market, so... What do you expect? I mean, you can have 10 of these mouses. 10 of these mouses for the price of this one mouse. 80 Rand versus 800 Rand. $5, $4 versus $50. I mean, can you compare? Okay, well there we have it ladies and gentlemen, the RCTCT12-1 um, gets, gets quite a big no from me. Um, I'm sure you could do 
add in an extra 50 yuan, extra five dollars and get way better. I feel it's got too many features that don't work. The side buttons don't work properly, the sensor skips, um, the braided cable feels super cheap and I mean it, the mouse itself feels okay. I like the little white accents on the logo, very nice touch. But then again, $4? Uh, if you don't have a mouse and you really need one, I mean, it's not bad for the price. Um, me being used to high-end hardware, not a chance will I be able to play with it, but if you need a mouse, I mean, it's a mouse at the end of the day, and it's not bad for the price. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys do want me to check out any cheap products such as other webcams, mics, headsets, let me know in the comments down below. I will buy them like I did this. I bought it myself, so it's a 100% honest review. I paid for it myself, so I will buy other cheap products that you guys recommend and I will give you an honest review of them. Sometimes you find some gems and make sure you guys get subscribed so you don't miss um, upcoming cheap product review videos because there are some in the works. Anyway guys, I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, adios amigos. I'm Andy guys. See you in the next one.